Hey guys, Dr. Teriyaki here, and we are playing more Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, and I just restarted time, and now you're going to see my attempt to play the song of time. Wait, what is that? <laughs> Is that it? Or is that the normal song of time? Alright. It's normal song of time. Down, A, over, down, A, over. Alright. Down, A, over, down. Yeah! Alright. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's a water bottle. Beow, beow, Alrighty. Now. <laughs> we gotta go. Back to Wakanda Valley Canyon, I mean. Um. Uh, so. Last time, we got that weird mask, Captain's Mask, I believe it's called. And, uh, pfft. we did a bunch of stuff, and then it wasn't the right night, though. So we couldn't actually accomplish anything further in the storyline. So that was awesome. Um. But, that doesn't really matter, because everything's fantastic when you get hit by those. Alright. I don't have any arrows. I don't like you, sir. I don't like this place. Shut up, Navi. Or you'll get sucked in the place. Um, yeah. Anyways. Oh my g Oh god. Oh. Oh boy, these guys. Oh! There we go over here. Kill that. Kill that. Break the sound barrier. Not even sure what I'm talking about. But that's okay. Cause we'll just go over here and take a big old chicka filet. That's disgusting. Then we fast forward to the dawn, or night of the second in the dawn day. No, night of the first day. Yes, proceed to the night to this first day. Skip it, Link. Link. Uh, okay. Blah blah. Chick, chick, poof, chick, chick. Okay, where are the people? There they are. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, ba ba ba. Saying all the same stuff. Open the grave. Oh, is it just gonna kind of rub it? There we go. It's all better. We okay. An arrow. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, I'm trying to think how to kill these guys really effectively. <laughs> Work! Work! Do I have anything that causes mass fire? I don't think I do. I feel like I should, though. You know? Boom! It's pretty easy, actually. Looking back, I realized that all I had to do was believe. I got a purple freaking ruby. That's pretty good. I feel like they want me to perhaps use this. Um. 
Ah, could you go any slower? Well, part of that's my fault because I missed. So. What's in here, you may ask yourself, and I tell you. Awesome. Wait, let's just actually take a gander at this really cool room. Right? It's very colorful. But most of all, it's just cool because of that thing right there. The cool curtain stage. Oh, hello! Let's go, old man! Huh. Okay, yeah, that hurt a lot. Boom! We did it. Thank you. Thank you for blessing me with a mind to ram into. You know, when it's in, this is a beat. You can't touch. Uh 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 uh. Uh 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 uh. Whoa. Are you the one who freed my soul? <laughs> it's a ghost, so that's why. You know, just talking to that voice. Hello, hello. I serve the Kana royal family. I am the composer called Flat. Flat, Flat, Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all composed by my brother and I. Oh. Oh, sharp, my dear brother. He sold his soul to the devil, and was the one who locked me in here. You, who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. I like, yeah. The thousand years of rain drops, summoned by my song, are the tears. The thunder that strikes the earth is my anchor. <laughs> I am in my request. Alright, bye. Thanks for the epic reading, by the way. Flat. Whoever was reading that was, uh, pretty intense. You know? Tell me something, Tattle. Uh, yep. Every teardrop's a waterfall. Fire nice. ice. Here's written the song that shall cleanse his curse. Keep the song in your heart. <coughs> I don't know. The Song of Storms. Ah. Water bottles, man. You remembered the Song of Storms. The melody that you heard before is a turbulent tune that blows curses away. I like how it says remembered, because <coughs> it's right after I in time. You know, uh, hamsters. I don't know. What's up here anyway? Was I supposed to not go up here? I don't know. Anyways, now that we got the song of freaking storms, we can continue on our quest. To cure a can of air. You played the song of freaking storms. Yes. All right. I don't know. I don't, <coughs> I don't know. My nose itches. Uh, I'm actually itching. Isn't that a weird thing? Itching it? That doesn't even make sense. I'm scratching it. All right. So now we are in a kind of valley. The place where it's all meant to be. Living at the hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. There's some good old Gibdos. And I'm like, don't touch me, Gibdos. I'm wearing a mask, I'm dead too. <laughs> Stupid. Um, and that guy's like, yeah, I'm gonna hit you anyway. I'm like, no thank you. No thank you. Let's read the sign here. Oh wait, I can't draw my sword. Spring Water Cave. Entry prohibited due to ghost sightings. What? I'm not afraid of any stupid ghosts. Yeah. Oh. This does not look like a Spring Water Cave. Looks more like a Spring Water 
grave. Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, not alone in my room, laughing at bad jokes. What business have you in a kind of kingdom, land where only the dead roam? <gasps> Who are you, Mr. Mustache Mom? This is no place for one as full of life as you. <laughs> um, or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer, Sharp, shall play, and join the ranks of the dead. Ah, it's hurting me. What do I do? Oh, wait. Do we cure curses? Suck this, Mo Sacra. All right, what is this? This song. It's called Banishment, motherfucker. No, no, we can't bear the song. Oh God, no. He disappeared. Oh. And the skulls are gone. Hooray. Mm, mm. Okay. Now the water is flowing. <laughs> and those uh, those things, the Gibdos are like, I don't... I don't like this. Water? It's not really the water that we don't like. It's more like this really annoying song that, uh, you know, we don't like. They're like, can you stop playing that? I like moaning. And, um, you know. Then they turn that weirdness. They all bow down to the power of really bad music. That guy looks like he's taking a shit. And, uh, you know. Look at them all. Bags, don't they go into the earth? Or they're just taking a really, really big... Uh, you know... They're... I told you they're constantly... Uh, bad joke. Anyways... They really don't like the music. Or they're hailing to the gods. Yep, alright. They just went into the earth. Nice. They look like they're having a good time. Yeah. Boom. Okie dokie. Donkey. Flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you've broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the mass one who had upset things. Okay. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish you for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. Okay. I will. To do that, though. I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of a kind of castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. Okay. Well, that was very nice of him. Um, one thing you can do in this room is, you know, put on your Zoro mask and go for a swim. And by swim, I mean, you know, you just kind of, kind of, you know, dive down. And look around, you know, and check out this awesome spring. And that's about it. it. That's, uh, you know, that's all you can do. Anyways, now that those stupid Gibdos are gone, we can now commence one of the really annoying parts of this game. But it's actually not too bad, because we got a bunch of garbage that'll help us out.
So, get the stone mask out. Put it on. We walk really slow. That's okay. She can't see me. I'm like, check it, dog. I'm going inside your house and you can't do anything. Uh, so, this is a pretty nice house. It's the music box house. They got a nice little, you know, fire going here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, they got some whole thing for mail, maybe. Not really too sure about that. They got whatever that is. You know, they got a nice tablecloth. Looks like they got some sort of basement thing. Uh, I don't know. Looks pretty nice, actually. So, let's see. What's this? Maybe they were studying... Oh, God! It's a freaking Gibdo Man thing. This is actually probably one of the most terrifying things in the world when you're, like, six years old. When a weird zombie thing comes out. This mummy looks different. Sort of like it's here, waiting for its human heart to be healed. Well, do something. Have you figured it out yet? I, th I think so, Navi. I think so. But you yelling at me doesn't help. Play the song of healing, and, you know, we're gonna cure his freaking soul. whole time. You haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. What a strong, weird kid thing. Pamela Anderson. Aw, oh, check it. I got a freaking mask. You got the Gibdo mask. Mask that was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Oh. So. Looks like they were studying everything of Conda Valley. Those, you know, got some ancient texts maybe. Not really sure if they're ancient. Looks like they were studying some type of Gibdo, marking up some stuff. Uh, got some music equipment down here. Check out this area. Looks like they had a little Gibdo teddy bear. Nice fish. Some like scrolls maybe to keep him locked in there. Brushing a broom, you know. So yeah, that's about it for this little area. Well, actually this entire room is that and that's actually all you do in it. So let's see. Let them be. Don't you get it? You're so insensitive. Thanks, Tattle. So, can we go through their things, though? I feel like we should. Yeah, I'm right on your tablecloth. All right. So that's kind of that. And now that we did that, we can uh, go talk to some Gibdos, because we got this mask. Now, you're probably wondering, where are these such Gibdos? Well, they're in probably the creepiest parts of the uh, two Nintendo 64 Zelda games. Want to know where they are? They're not in here. But this area, we get a heart piece from here later, I do believe. Yeah, so, we don't want to go in there yet, though. Shut it, Navi. Tattle. Yeah, so this is the area we're going. Get away from me! And I broke the sign. Anyway, it's at the bottom of the well. Or well. And you're like, why would you go in a well? And I'm like, you know, I don't really know. Why is there a freaking well in here? It's probably a better question. Anyways. Let's get out our freaking Gibdo mask. Our, uh, our stone mask. And let's take a gander in here. So, first glance, you're like, oh, yeah, this is pretty nice. And then, there, oh, there's a Gibdo. Hello, hello. Screams at you, leave it, leave it. 
Leave me something blue that bestows health. And for that, we need a freaking blue potion, which is a pain in the butt. So, and then this guy, he wants... Let's see, what do you want? And so, now we need to go get a bunch of garbage. And I'm actually not going to show you any of the getting the garbage. I'm just going to kind of cut to it once I have all of it. So anyways, thank you for watching this episode. Next time we're going to kind of finish up the bottom of the whale quest. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing. So, oh wait, I don't have my mask anymore. Uh, can they see me? When... Oh my god, they can. Hey, it's actually me. Anyways. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm.